Sailing Catalpa, we call into the Wit Sundays and show you some of our favourite food we eat while we're sailing. So we're just coming into Townsville. This is where it all began, over here at Magnetic Island. It's where we bought Catalpa nearly three years ago. So we're just going to come into Townsville and anchor out into the duck pond, hopefully, which is outside of the marina, and go ashore, do our washing at a friend's place. Thanks, Lindsay. And do a few errands, stock up the boat. We are now going to stop in Cairns, so we don't have to do as much stocking up as we thought. Um, we're going to go there and hang out with my dad for a week. Remember last time coming in here, babe? Um. Yeah, that was a bit scary. So nearly three years ago? About three years ago we come in. I'd never driven a boat like this before. So my first day of driving the boat was from Magnetic Island over here into the marina, unaware that I didn't actually have reverse. So the cable had snapped either when we purchased it or on the way over here. So as I would come back to neutral, it remained in gear. And then I'd put it into reverse, and it was in forward, and then I'd give it some revs to try and slow it up. And we nearly took out the fuel wall three times. Until we actually came back out here and anchored, found the problem. Oh, it's a long story, but to cut it short, we had Taj sitting on the motor, controlling the forward reverse. Sarah at the companion way, relaying the message back and forth from me to Taj. And we managed to get onto the fuel wharf and a guy helped us out. So, yeah, it was scary. Not only that, but you labelled the forward and reverse wrong. So when Lee went forward, I had to say reverse to Taj. Which sort of makes sense if you really go back in time and the, all those issues we had with the gearbox, in, it was actually around the wrong way. That's when we should have figured out. That's when we should have clicked. That the <laughs> prop was the wrong prop on the boat. So, yes, yeah, the 101 issues that we've had. But hopefully, they're all sorted. Touch wood. <laughs> so, you did super well that day. Lee is a very, very calm person in situations and just thinks really quickly. So really good. He uh, manages to pull off a lot of things where, you know, if you panics, it could have ended really bad. What's so. one? What's 20 ton when you don't have reverse? <laughs> Just, yeah. We're so happy right now. The help is going strong. You're doing all right. And this is the furthest north we've been in Catalpa, so we're about to head to Cairns in a couple of days, so that's going to be exciting. And then not long it'll be a first ocean crossing yeah Ooh. we'll go to thursday island first hang out with some friends there and then we're gonna go and leave australian waters and head to indonesia all right i'll let you concentrate so we've just come into where the duck or what they call the duck pond outside of Townsville. We're trying to avoid going into the marina, but the duck pond is very shallow. It's just after low tide, and we went down behind these boats down here and we just rubbed. <laughs> so we pulled out of there and we're heading back over this way. It's not helpful when our sounder keeps not telling us the depth. No depth. No depth, so it's a bit of a pain. But we'll try again here, otherwise, you know, worst case. We have to grit our teeth and go pay the $65 for the night. <laughs> That's alright, it'll just make us do everything quicker so we get out of here. I think we hit the bottom. <laughs> We're anchoring here anyway. It's pretty low, low tide, so as long as we remember to leave on um, high tide we should be fine. <laughs> we have stirred up a lot of mud. <laughs> Oh well, it's only for a night or two. So here we are going ashore to do some washing. It's been, I think, uh, since Brisbane, since we've done actual laundry. We've done washing on the boat, but it's not as good as a washing machine, so. Thanks, Lindsay. We're coming to do a million loads of washing. 
Um, we just had a big day of doing washing. Did about eight loads of washing, I think, at our friend Lindsay's house. And uh, we went, the kids and I went and did some op shopping, got some clothes and some kitchen stuff, some bargains. And then we went to Coles or Woolworths and stocked up a little bit, oh, a fair bit. And uh, that was our day. So tomorrow we're gonna do some more washing, um, get a few more things and collect our mail. Um, and think that's about it. Hopefully that'll all get done and then we're gonna head off on Thursday at this stage. So we just anchored out the front in the duck pond. So today we went and stocked up a little bit in Townsville. We got mostly dry food because we are going to Cairns and um, we're gonna actually get off the boat for a week in Cairns with my dad and Chantel. And, and in the mail, Southeast Asia Pilot. Oh! Apparently it's a good book. This is the must have, apparently. So we got that, we ordered that. We ordered that, Lee got some... Got some these. filters off eBay, because I've heard the fuel in uh, Indo's not the cleanest, so I thought I'd grab a, a whole heap of these, and they were only like six, seven dollars on eBay, as opposed to, I don't know, ten to fifteen dollars at your normal marine shop. Just pretty happy with that. What else do we get in the mail? Nothing. I got this. So I broke my mixing bowl. Where's actually? Let's show my mixing bowl. Mixing bowl and Lee fixed it kindly, but <laughs> dodgy. <laughs> what is that? Looks like blue tack. It's not. I reassure you. It's rock solid, whatever that stuff epoxy. is. It's epoxy. Anyway, look at I got this. Off shop. Two bucks. Mixing bowl. You. Yeah. I got some clothes. I also got these little things. Woo! For sushi and for nibblies. What's this one? A dollar fifty! What? That was what else? What did you do today while we were shopping? You were shopping, enjoying yourself. I had my head in the engine bay. Changed the oil. Changed the oil filter. Changed both primary and secondary fuel filters. Had a little play in there, a little adjusted a lot of hoses because I've played with a lot of stuff in there. Check the oils and water levels and all sorts of mechanical stuff. Sounds still real didn't get fun. around to it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to still service the generator. I think the water maker's ready for its first little uh, change of the oil. So and then that should be right for I think 500 hours after. So it's day two at Townsville. We did a heap of washing yesterday. We went to the op shops and got some supplies and went to Coles and stocked up on some food. Today we are going back to Lindsay's to do more washing. I've got all our sheets and doonas. Uh, got our laptop and we're going to utilize some Wi-Fi and upload some movies. Um, that's about it. It's a beautiful day here. There's no wind and sunshine. It's quite warm, but uh, let's go. getting updated, iPads getting updated, phones getting updated, movies getting uploaded. It's a Wi-Fi party. <laughs> Boost with Linz and I am so chuffed. I have got some of my mates in the studio this morning. I'm joined by Sarah, Lee, Taj and Bella, my friends from the Goldie, who have sold everything and you guys are sailing to who knows where, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's the plan. <laughs> Welcome everybody. They're, everyone's Thank you. just standing around soaking up all the goodness this morning. We're all excited, guys. <laughs> 
Well, I'm excited because I've been following you guys on Instagram and YouTube and all over the place, and you've literally sold everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got rid of everything. So we got a boat. This is always a dream, and we had a few kind of practice runs and didn't know if we were going to love it, and we did, and then we just like, yeah, we got to get rid of everything. we got to go. We can't have ties to anything. we just got to go. And so I've kind of like seen you guys on this journey for the last few years of like, I've jumped down to the Gold Coast, that's where you guys yeah. have been living, and every time I go down, it's things are progressing and moving forward, and now you're finally here in Townsville, yeah, it and it's happening. Yeah, it felt like it took forever. We were like always going, and then all of a sudden, we made it happen. Now, what, what I love is we'll, we'll be sharing like their YouTube and Instagram on our Facebook so you guys can follow them as well, but you actually have two kids, Taj and Bella. How old are they? Taj is 12 and Bella's 10. Now, two kids on the open seas with you and your husband. What, like, how? This is <laughs> the most common question we get. How do you live on a boat with two kids? So, um, I don't know, we, we all love it. And I think that's what makes a difference is we love diving, surfing, fishing. We love doing it all and don't we, like, we like hanging out with each other. I know, I think that's my favorite thing is you don't often see in families nowadays that the kids and the parents all like spending so much time together. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, surely you guys get a bit sick of each other, right? Oh yeah, we have our moments. <laughs> we have our moments, but um, yeah, we, well this is, we kind of pushed for it to happen now because we wanted to go with the kids while they were young and so that they could so far you're you're on a boat and you're living life what's happening oh uh, probably our biggest biggest highlight is um going sandboarding down big sand dunes live oh <laughs> so uh, i'm just here with our good friend lindsay <laughs> we just got interviewed on the radio so exciting <laughs> so crazy um yeah tell yeah. us a bit about what what goes on here we're at the ywam base in yeah. townsville yeah so here at the yeah, ywam base in townsville in 99.9 .9 live fm where i host the morning show and uh, I thought it'd be cool to have these guys in and share a bit about the journey and so much fun. And we've been showing them all of our other medical ships that we dabble in in YWAM. And it's pretty fun to see all the, the ships uniting. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's very cool. And this is a cool space. And they do a lot of mission work up through Papua New Guinea. And yeah, it was just all really exciting. So we're stoked to come and see it all yeah. and hang out. And share you guys a story. Yeah. It's been so fun. And thanks for having yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> And Lindsay, also, we did all our washing. It's we used true. Did, it was my washing line. Drove us around town. Like, we can be more grateful right now. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Just going on our own, but yeah, it's like yeah. them saying we want you to come. Yeah. And then, like, so how'd you go, team? I started a tiny bit, didn't I? Just chugged on the radio. Did you radio. get that radio voice going or what? That was professional. <laughs> she had the radio voice. She was like, we're the 90%. Yeah, how good's Lindsay on the radio? We just got interviewed on the radio. <laughs> Good like, to be alive. Like people want to watch us. But what a cool organization. Yeah. YWAM. Unbelievable. These guys have ships and go into the most remote places. And take medical supplies, dental supplies, help with um, women with giving birth and things in remote areas because uh, they don't know, they don't have all the, the um, education. So they take that all over there. And it's really cool. So they're really inspiring. And we're excited to leave Australia and go and visit some of the remote places as well and just see what what's out there. Wait, wait. I'm not going to jump in. <gasps> Say hi. Say hi. Hi. She's like, Whoa. <laughs> 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 uh, that's Hi. <laughs> I'm taking my fish and jumping ship. No so we're just leaving Townsville in Queensland, Australia, and we're heading towards Cairns. Um, it should take us maybe three or four days, depending how the winds are and if we get sidetracked and stop somewhere. But um, we're, we're planning on going straight there, but our plans change. We had a good time in Townsville. Massive thanks to Lindsay, who um, did everything for us. So we were so grateful for that. And uh, yeah, we had a good time. Got most of our stuff we needed and we're heading off. So we've just pulled up to our anchorage for the night, which is Orpheus Island. 
We're nearly going to anchor it palm. It was really rolly. And this place in here is just so still. It's so still and beautiful. So good choice, Captain. But uh, I don't think we're going to do much here. We're going to get a building and go tomorrow. Keep heading north. <laughs> Taj is researching Orpheus Island where we pulled up for the night to see if there's Just crocodiles. Croc the kids are again? anxious to see crocodile in Orpheus. the wild because they haven't Orpheus. seen one before. I saw that. Orpheus. We'll definitely see one up further north. Over there there's a science research and then around the corner there's a resort. Alright. So Bella googled to see if there's crocodiles here at um, Orpheus Island and this is what we found. Okay. Be aware of crocs may be entered in this waters. Uh, these guidelines and be croc wise in croc country. Stay alert at all times. If you see a crocodile, stay well away. Never swim where there's potentially crocodiles, even if there's no signs permitted. Never provoke or... Ha <laughs> or hassle, harass, or interfere with the great crocodile, even small ones. We just unhooked the buoy and we are off from Orpheus Island, heading to Dunk Island today and uh, there's apparently no wind but I'm going to give it a crack. This is some good wind so old captain over here isn't cranky pants. So we just left Orpheus Island and um, we have wind. It's not much, but we don't have the engine on, so. <laughs> so we're just cruising along nicely at about two knots, babe. What are we doing? Four. Four knots. Very nice. Here's to a happy day of full winds in our sails. So we had wind and uh, now we don't. So it has come to the point where we now will have to turn the key. Oh well. Weather says 10 to 15 knots, so hopefully it picks up. So the motor's off again. We've got winds. We're going along at about five knots. Oh, over five, so five knots. We just went past Hinchinbrook Island. I don't know what that one is over there. We're not heading the right way, but we're heading in that similar direction. It's very peaceful. We've had some whales pop along beside us, but they're not very active. They're just cruising past. And uh, that's about it. So our plans today would go, were to go to Dunk Island, but the wind was not in our favour, so um, we've headed out to the reef. What's this reef called, babe? I think it's called Otter. Otter. So we're at Otter Reef. Just off Dunk Island. Or out for uh, out from Dunk Island. And there's a tiny little island that we stood on just when we arrived. I had a little bit of a snorkel. It's absolutely beautiful. We've seen some whales playing. So it's been really nice. It's a good choice. And we love it out here. So... We'll continue uh, towards Cairns tomorrow, whether it's just uh, reef hopping or we head back into towards the mainland, we don't know. But we've had a very lovely afternoon. So we've left Otter Reef this morning, it's where we had the night last night. And uh, we're heading to Nathan Reef today. There's a bit of a island there, so we'll be able to get off the boat and have a little look around. It's about 35 nautical miles away, so we've got about 10 knots of wind. What is it, Belle? Big queenie. A queenie? How long it's been on for? I forgot to put the ratchet on, so... What kind of a fishing are you? Then I put it on when I got it, but anyway. <laughs> a bit late, but... <laughs> Look at the water! It's like... Clear. I just had my head mean? down trying to figure out this Wi-Fi on the sim rod and I look up on the rod I can just hear the slight sound of the rod of the line mm. peeling out. Ah. So 
So we just arrived to our anchorage for the night. We stopped a bit earlier because we didn't want to arrive in the dark. We're at another reef, it doesn't have a name. It's uncharted. We just Lee cracked a coconut. I melted some chocolate, we're gonna chocolate have a bounty. Oh yeah. But uh we're gonna stay here for the night. Yo. So this is our favourite treat at the moment and could tell probably we've still got some coconuts, so chopping up a coconut and pouring some chocolate on it. Do you reckon Belle? to Fitzroy Island. We just left our anchorage out on the reef and it's about 10 knots wind. We've got a bit of a trek today, it's nearly 60 nautical miles. And Fitzroy Reef, oh Fitzroy Island is just off Cairns so we'll be at Cairns the following day. But hopefully we've got good winds today and we can get there in plenty of time tonight. And then we'll make our way to Cairns. Oh. What was it? Little baby Spanish. Get small. So join us next time as we continue on to Fitzroy Island and then towards Cairns. Yeah. To say